Today on the table, I've got an Acer Aspire VX, or also known with the model number, VX5 591G. Now this one here has got a simple issue with it, it's got a cracked screen, so that I'll be going ahead to replace, make sure the machine's powered off prior to attempting this, and the top right hand corner I've got a crack, but from the inside you should be able to lift up the plastic bezel, and that should make a pretty satisfying click or pop feel, which you should be able to work your way around all the outer perimeters. As you see, I'm, all I'm simply doing is sliding my finger, sliding it about an inch, and then pulling it towards me. And from there, we have one bezel removed. Yeah, we'll continue with that. And what we can use from here is a small Phillips head screwdriver. Something like this. And we'll just start removing the panel. So one small screw, it's one at the top right, bottom right, bottom left. So I'll proceed with removing those. And now I'm doing the last one. Now what we should be able to do from there is fold the screen down it will snag on the webcam camera, uh, the webcam cable, which is also connected to the display cable further down. So there is some tape that you would have to lift up to be able to get it or get to it. Try and pull on the tape rather than the cord, as pulling the tape may damage. Uh, pulling on the cord may damage it. At least if you're pulling on the tape, there should be minimal risk. Anyway, I'll quickly rotate this around, and this is the factory panel that came out of here. Except this one won't be, or oh, it's also a small 40 pin connector. I'm just stuffing up the zoom there, don't mind me. And now from here, one thing that might happen once you've got the screen removed, is this cable may pop out. You should just be able to trace it along and push it back into its original position. Now I've got myself another replacement screen on hand. It's also a 1080 resolution panel, an IPS panel. But the replacement one is also 120 hertz, where the original one was 60. Being that this is using EDP and a relatively decent gaming computer, I don't see why this panel won't function just fine in here. But one thing I will lose once I install this is the br manual brightness adjustment. So I will lose that and just run at maximum brightness, but it's a trade-off I think most people will be happy with for a smoother display. We are trying to clip the new cable underneath the copper pin connectors. Now, sorry for the quality of that zoom, it was a digital zoom done after filming. Now I'm just going to double check that that cable's running nice and flush where it should be. And then from there we'll be installing, reinstalling the four small Phillips head screws.
Now we reinstall the original factory trim, which should snap back quite easily without minimal issues. So the biggest issue you may have is the video connector down the bottom. If it's not in place, it will squish and force the trim to be pushed out. But there we go. One Acer Aspire VX ready to go. Bye.